here behind the picking uh, President Cunningham in one of the one of the early boat planes there in Annapolis. The up until 1917 in America's entry into World War One, the Marine Corps had sort of dallied in aircraft. Um, it wasn't um, aircraft as a, as a as a military weapon in the United States at all was was very new in the Marine Corps. Had, uh, there were a few. Um, Marines who had, who had already grasped the significance of what the what the airplane could do for the Corps, uh, but there was no real formal formal structure. That changes very quickly as, as the America enters World War One, and uh, from the early uh, early leaders of, uh, under under uh, President Cunningham, Marine aviation grows relative, you know, scale wise relatively quickly, and we actually deploy squadrons of aircraft to the Azores uh, to defend against German submarines. Uh, we send four squadrons of bombers to France, um, and they, they fly and fight alongside the British. Um, and there, as we, as we get farther into the, into the exhibit here, we've got examples of uh, the first Medal of Honors, which were uh, earned by Marine aviators. And these two paintings here are by uh, the famed artist Charles Waterhouse. And Joan can talk a little bit about his impact. Colonel Waterhouse was um, commissioned into the Marine Corps um, in the 1960s. He is a World War II Marine who uh, was wounded on Iwo Jima. Uh, several years ago, he decided to do a series of paintings that look at Marine Corps Medal of Honor recipients uh, utilizing um, the citation, recreating the event as well as the individuals who, who participated. And he donated these works to the Marine Corps Art Collection last year. It was very fortuitous with this exhibit coming up that we have um, 